What I'm going to try to do in this Hawaii trip is I have a goal of losing at least one to two pounds on vacation. I've never done that before, so I just thought, heck, why not? Why not try? We got an extra seat. Yay! All the space. <laughs> Ooh, here in Hawaii. Woo. We made it. This is our room. Yay, it has everything. This is like a low carb person's dream to have your own refrigerator and then all the utensils you need and then like a stove. Yay, awesome. Okay guys, so what I'm going to try to do in this Hawaii trip is I am going to, like I have a goal of losing at least one to two pounds on vacation. I've never done that before, so I just thought, heck, why not? Why not try? And I started out this trip at 105, so I'm just gonna see by the end if I could get down to like 103, just like why not? So I'm gonna show you guys all the low carb whole foods that we eat here on vacation and also how I make exceptions and so how I plan things out. So I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna do, but we're just gonna get settled in here first and then I'll show you guys where we're gonna eat. Okay, I'm on 25 hours now. Michael's on 32 or so. <laughs> He's still here, you could fast and you won't die. Anyway, so we're on 25 miles, uh, not miles, hours now and we're going to eat our first meal of the day so i found this restaurant we're gonna walk there and i'll show you what we'll get nearby so whenever i'm on vacation i always make sure to plan out the restaurants and the grocery stores near where i'm staying and the great thing about waikiki is that you could walk to so many stores and so many restaurants so even if you eat low carb like hawaii is the best place because they specialize in cooking meat and they also have a lot of Asian foods, um, which also includes like a lot of, not just Japanese, but also like Korean inspired foods and a lot of Asian fusion here. So there, there's a lot of kimchi, a lot of vegetables still. So I think we're gonna be able to make a lot of um, awesome low carb choices here. So get ready to see what we're gonna eat. Okay, you guys, so things I look for when I pick a restaurant to eat if I want to lose weight and eat low carb is I really check to make sure the restaurant, first of all, has a lot of protein. So this is a fish restaurant. It's called Paya Fish Market in Waikiki. So it has a lot of leaner proteins like fish, seafood, mahi-mahi, and chicken and other stuff. So it has a lot of leaner proteins, um, snapper. So this would be good for weight loss. And then I also make sure that the dishes have a lot of veggies. So if you could have veggie options, like there are a lot of garden salads with a big portion of protein, so that's great. And I also make sure that in menus that you could choose from sides, like it has a lot of sides to choose from that includes veggies. I'm not sure the whole menus here, but that's some quick hacks. Like make sure there's some veggies that you could add on the side, some big portions of leaner proteins, and also a lot of veggies to keep you satiated. Oh my god, look you guys. Isn't this amazing? I got an extra side of coleslaw just to fill up myself on veggies. Michael got rice. Dun, dun, dun. He's not trying to lose weight though, so that's fine. <laughs> Okay, so this is what I did, you guys. So I asked, I ha here's a hack. Try to get a dinner portion of the proteins if you can. So instead of a lunch portion, which is six ounces, I got eight ounces, and they charged me four extra dollars, but I don't care. It's worth it. And so this is blackened mahi-mahi. So, so excited. And it also has um, some tomato, shrimp, and I think there's cucumbers in there, too. I also got some Perrier just because it, it helps to satiate me when I'm coming up on the end of my fast. So I think we're at 26 hours now. Oh, I am. All right, I'm ready to dig in. Hey guys, so Michael and I are here at Masubi Cafe Iyasume, and um, this is gonna be my exception eat for the whole trip. So what that means is it's basically one food that usually I don't have on my plan, and I like to make exceptions i tell my clients to do this at least once a week to help mitigate cravings and also um to help <laughs> we have water falling off i think it's raining 
Um, but it also helps you eat sugar and starches and carbs in a way that doesn't feel out of control. So I planned ahead to eat this like 24 hours in advance and then I only really make sure to eat it after my meal. So we already had our fish, well I had my fish salad, so I like to eat the starchier food after my meal so that I'm not too hungry um, when I eat it because rice will make me, it'll make me really hungry because of the blood sugar drop. So anyway, can't wait to show you the stuff. Look at all the spam at Masubi and the rice balls. Oh my god, you guys, how adorable is this? So we're gonna split this. So this one is, what is this? Oh, spam, tamago, cucumber, and eanery. I think, yeah. And then this one's the bacon? Avocado? No, this is oh. the eel. Oh, eel, avocado, yeah. egg and spam and then the spam. michael god spam avocado and bacon yep all right cheers <laughs> that's really all that rice i normally don't eat this please, much rice at all please take the meal but i have to make an exception for spam masubi in hawaii come on <laughs> We are in the, gosh, what's it called? International market. Oh yeah. <laughs> we are in the international market. Goodness gracious. It looks amazing here. So gorgeous. Look at that. So pretty. The witch tree? The one in the Arboretum. I don't know. The roots that like come down from the branches. Oh yeah, I think so. That's so nice. Hey you guys, we are back in the room, just relaxing, and I have my favorite snack of all time, macadamia nuts. And I love that they're all dry roasted here, so there's no vegetable oils or anything like that in these macadamia nuts. So the only ingredients really are just macadamia nuts and salt and that's it. <laughs> so I love them. So just a pro tip, I like to buy macadamia nuts. Oh, you can see them here. This is just plain Hawaiian sea salt, but I like to buy them in these small like four ounce containers because if, if you get a bag, it's really easy to eat the entire bag and I've definitely done that in the past. Anyways, I'm going to enjoy my macadamia nuts and then I'll see you guys tomorrow as we go around Honolulu and we will check out different wedding venue sites and also we'll try some awesome food. See you guys! We are in the jungle you guys. We transported back in time to the prehistoric times. Oh man, this is Waimea Valley. Ceremonies usually take place on our wedding stage. That is a stage. Oh, yeah. I, I oh, we oh, nice. We here huh? in North Shore. Where are you? Uh, and <laughs> and we about to try some garlic shrimp. Oh my goodness, look at this. So this is the shrimp scampi, what Giovanni's is known for. This is the lemon butter and the hot and spicy. So good. Are you ready? Ready, Michael? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna have some rice just cause um, I need something to hold me over until the luau tonight. So I'll have a little bit of rice, maybe just like half a cup, which is about 20, 25 grams of carbs. So. That's not too high carb, but today I'm ready. Let's go. What do you think, Michael? Is good? Yeah? Amazing. Cheers. Cheers. How is it? So good. Just like buttery goodness. Amazing.
Hey guys, we here. We are in Paradise Cove, Luau. Look at it. You can see how beautiful it is. You can see some. You can hear the music in the background. But anyway, so I'm gonna show you guys what I will eat here because they have a lot of low carb options. So I'll show you what I'll eat at a luau and then how I plan to lose weight on this vacation here. <laughs> okay, all right. So we're waiting for the food though. It's gonna take about an hour, hour and a half. So we're just walking around and then <laughs> I can't get my mask to stay on. But anyway, this is my game plan though. Like they have a salad bar, which is why I like this particular luau, Paradise Cove, because they have a salad bar. So I plan to fill up with a lot of veggies first before I eat my meat and then I will have some of the pork which is fattier so I won't eat too much pork but I'll try to load up more on chicken or leaner proteins if they have a lot of chicken which I think on the menu they do have some baked chicken and um, just limit the fattier meats like the pork and beef. Alright you guys, I'll see you soon! Alright you guys, apparently they had a pre-made salad thing, so unfortunately I couldn't pick it, but obviously I'm just not going to have starches. There's some chicken here, pork, and I don't know what that is, but I think it's probably kind of fish. Some vegetables here, salad, I'm going to go with this ranch looking sauce, I think if it's ranch, I'm not sure what that is. I'm not going to eat the macaroni, and I think this might be poke. I or salsa or something. Yeah, so I'm just not gonna have the starches and I'm going in. Just as a pro tip, you guys, you wanna make sure you eat veggies first because they help to satiate you, especially if you don't have like a lot of food. <laughs> but yeah, eat your veggies first. I, I put some ranch dressing and it has a lot of fiber, so it could help to fill you up. Bit, so I'm eating that first and then I have protein second and then if you want to have carbs or starches you can have that last um, and the star starches or fats like eat that last because they're not as satiating but anyways that's the order I eat things if you want to be more full. Anyways, cheers! Okay, separated out my starches here and then these are the proteins but I think the fish is breaded so I'm gonna take that out. Okay, I'm gonna try the pork. Eight hours under in the ground by hot stones. Got so good, you guys. This pork right here. Hey guys, we're here in our first hike yep. in Hawaii. This is the Mananana Trail. Manana. Manana. Manana Trail. And it's like we're Narnia. Seriously. Looks gorgeous. And then after this, are we gonna go to another? We might go to another trail. We'll see. Yeah. Anyway. Gonna keep going. Hey right, guys, it's getting really slippery. Look at all that. It's all wet. Ah. Hey everybody. Lane to oh. turn left on the <laughs> Boulevard. GPS is really loud. But anyway, so we just finished 
our um, like a four mile, well, it was supposed to be a 2.9 mile hike and it turned to nearly a four mile hike because we got lost. A little bit. But we found our way um, thanks to a awesome hiker that we met along the way. Just by chance he was lost with us so we found our way. But anyway, um, so now we are on our way to lunch. I actually ate some macadamia nuts Continue after, on all of our, for three quarters after of a fasting for 16 hours because I was really hungry and usually after an intense hike because that was a that was a pretty um, it was a pretty good moderate uh, it was a good moderate uh, <laughs> workout <laughs> so after a strenuous hike I usually get pretty hungry so um, and I and I fasted for 16 hours like I'm kind of making it a minimum as much po as possible to fast for 16 hours so I broke my fast with some macadamia nuts. And now we are going to have our first meal, official meal of the day, at a place called Choi's Kitchen. And it's a lot of Korean barbecue and also some Hawaiian kind of barbecue style meats like kalbi. So we're gonna have some of that and then we're gonna try to check out some poke after. And then finally we'll have some um, macadamia nuts at the tropical macadamia nut farm. So that should be fun and I will, I'm ready to eat, so we will see you all there. The barbecue, like the Calbee? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, yay, <laughs> we go. Ours, so what's in yours, Michael? Uh, so this is barbecue pork, spicy mm. pork, mm -hmm. barbecue beef, and then we got broccoli, daikon, cucumbers, kimchi, and uh, fish cakes. Yes. Yes. Yeah, banchan is a great supplement for low carb eating. And then I got a garlic pepper salmon with banchan, the same one. The only thing with the fish cake is that it does have a little bit of starch in it, but uh, it's such a little amount that it's not going to throw me off. And there's also pickled cucumber, kimchi, broccoli, and daikon. All right, so good. All right, I'm going to try the salmon. Cheers. So good. It really hits the spot after a hike. Okay, we just finished the Korean food at Choice Kitchen and it was so good. Oh my gosh, I think they had the best like daikon banchan that I ever had. And they also had really good kimchi. It was like pickled kimchi. Did you like that one, Michael? It was amazing. Gosh, it was so good and the meat and the salmon were amazing. And then now we're gonna have some poke and then macadamia nuts. Okay y'all, so change of plans. Um, I've made an executive decision that after thinking about it for like 10 minutes or actually really like two minutes, I was like, okay, I'm actually kind of full. So we're just gonna go to the macadamia nut farm and if we want poke later, we could get it. But this is exactly what I teach my clients. It's like, if you're feeling full, like then you don't eat, you know? And I do want macadamia nuts um, because I want to have them, <laughs> but I don't need a whole meal. So I made that executive decision. So we are going to, we're gonna go about to the east of the island. It's near Kulo Ranch. And we are gonna check out Tropical Macadamia Nut Farm. Macadamia nuts, woo woo. Coffee samples. Oh, they do have macadamia nut coffee. Okay, he's trying it. It's pretty good. Yeah? Does it taste like macadamia nuts? No. Oh, okay. But it's good. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's good, you guys. Michael approved <laughs> coffee. Here are the macadamia nuts. Honey roasted. Kona coffee. Caramel, so I'm gonna try some and regular roasted We got roasted and salted and Maui Onion garlic and cinnamon glazed I'm gonna try cinnamon first Because I like I never really had a cinnamon flavored one. Okay There you go Okay, cheers 
So far it tastes like cinnamon toast crunch. It literally is cinnamon toast crunch. I don't really taste the macadamia I only taste cinnamon toast crunch. That's pretty good. Right, this is caramel and the way you taste it is you put your pinky up. That's the proper way to do a tasting here. Mm. This one's really good. It's like butterscotch candy and that's all I taste. I don't taste macadamia. <laughs> Super good. Really sweet. Alright, I'm trying the Kona coffee glazed macadamia nuts. Look, this one's massive. It's like a stone. <laughs> okay, cheers. Oh, put the pinky up. Oh god. It's really strong coffee. Really good. I haven't had a coffee flavor taste in like almost a year. It's like really good. Hi there. Hi. <laughs> Michael, we've decided on a winner. Yes, we have. Yes, we have. So, which macadamia nut did we pick? We chose. Dun, dun, dun. Can you guys cinnamon guess? Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. We just, I don't know, that nostalgia, man. We just could not. Irresistible. Yeah, we needed that Cinnamon Toast Crunch. So, <laughs> so anyway, we are going to. So, this is what I eat, like, as an exception. We'll have this, but yeah, obviously, I don't have sugar every day, but. If I'm in Hawaii and I have something like this, then yes, I will eat some. But super good. Probably won't eat for the rest of the day after this, but super happy with this. Yeah. So good. What was your second favorite, Michael? Uh, probably the caramel. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the caramel is good. Yeah. Actually, for me. Oh, the coffee, actually. Yeah. For me, actually, I like the um, I like the coffee one too. Even though it, it does have coffee, but it's not a coffee drink. Okay, so I don't think it counts. <laughs> I would say actually for me, coffee's number one, and then the cinnamon is like number two. But anyway, I didn't want too much coffee, you know. Look at this sand. Oh my god. Alright, this is our breakfast for today. He has steak and garlic shrimp with pickled cucumbers and then I got steak with ahi tuna. That's like a wasabi aioli which is a little fatty but it's okay. This will be my main meal of the day so I'm not going to eat any more than that besides maybe macadamia nuts and cucumbers. Alright, let's eat. I know, right? It's like, oh, it's okay. Get out of the stand. Oh, wow. Hey everyone, so we're back in the airport. Michael and I, he's hes not paying attention. Hi. <laughs> so we're back here in the airport and since our last meal in the morning, I just had some mixed nuts just to hold me over in the plane just in case. But anyway, that is the end of our low carb Hawaii trip. So I'm gonna weigh myself in the morning and see if I lost weight like at least one or two pounds on this trip if not then i'll also give a recap of what i could have done differently but it's just a fun little experiment to see if what i ate on vacation could actually lead to weight loss on a trip rather than weight gain because last time i went to hawaii i gained like four pounds so just wanted to see how this went <laughs> anyways you guys i will see you soon tomorrow during the weigh-in all right but we're we just need some sleep right now we are like really jet lagged <laughs> so i'll see you guys soon good morning you guys i am super jet lagged right now it's about 8 30 a.m in los angeles time and in hawaii it's about 5 30 a.m i took a hawaii trip in 2018 so last time i went to hawaii i started off at 100 pounds and then i gained four pounds when i came back because of all the eating I did. I'll tell you a little bit more about that in just a bit, but for this trip in 2021, 
I started off the vacation at 105 pounds, so now we're gonna see if I lost any weight. All right, I just stepped on and it says 103.4. Oh my gosh! So this is crazy, you guys, because I've never lost weight in a vacation and I've always been a bit of a foodie. Like, when I went on vacation, eating the food was the main attraction for me. Like, I would be the one to Yelp all the restaurants. I wanted to eat at only four-star minimum restaurants. Four and a half is preferred to five-star. But what I learned, though, when I went to Hawaii, three years ago like I was talking about like when I gained four pounds I just remember from that trip even though it was fun like I went on hikes I went on I went to clubs I went I did karaoke I did a lot of fun stuff with my friends but I just remember like one of my most vivid memories from that trip was after I ate like malasadas and malasadas are those fried beignet donut kind of things um, they're like a pastry fried pastry like a beignet that you could have that's popular in Hawaii. Some of them have custards in it, some of them only have dough. I just remembered eating so many malasada donuts last time I was in Hawaii that I felt so sick to my stomach. Like to this day I remembered how sick I felt when I ate all those malasadas and that was like my most vivid memory of Hawaii, like feeling sick, feeling nauseous, and that was like right before we went on the plane back. So it was like my most vivid memory, and it just kind of sucks that when you want to enjoy food, but then if you eat too much of a food that doesn't serve your body, it really doesn't feel as fun as you thought it would be. And so my approach to this vacation was a little different. Like, I do love food, I still think I'm a foodie, but it's not, but when I came into this trip, I thought to myself that that wouldn't be the only way that I had fun. Like, I really wanted to try to find other ways to enjoy my trip, like things I looked forward to that I never did before. So, some other things that I did in this trip was I actually went kayaking. I went stand-up paddle boarding, I went kayaking. Um, I've been, I'd kayaked before, but I'd never done any stand-up paddle boarding, which was super fun. And I also went on a hike I've never been on. I went to beaches I never went to. So I just found a lot of things that I could find joy and appreciation for that don't have to do with food. And that really helped me in what I call diversifying my joy. And this is something I teach my clients, like helping you find ways that you could have joy and pleasure and fun without food. Because like my old Hawaii trip, like three years ago, if the food is the main attraction, you'll wanna keep eating and eating to feel good. And then if you do that, like what happened to me with the malasada, it's like you're gonna feel sick. Like you're gonna feel like sick to your stomach. And that was just like what I remember from that trip. So going into this trip, I didn't need to eat such fancy food. I didn't need to eat all the five star food. I, I even eat, ate in more like local places like Choice Kitchen, like places that weren't as touristy but I knew it would serve my body. So I prioritized eating food that I knew would feel good. And in this trip, it was amazing. Like I didn't feel nauseous at all. I didn't feel sick to my stomach. It just felt so much better. I enjoyed my hike without any issues. I enjoyed the kayaking, the stand-up paddle boarding. I didn't feel nauseous. And so it was just so much more of an enjoyable trip. If you are going on a vacation and you're struggling with not seeing food as a main attraction and you're really kind of like, you know, how do I enjoy other things? Because I was really like that, like food was like the main thing for me, like to really enjoy a trip. So if you're struggling with that, I would just really encourage you to research ahead of time where you're going and really just ask yourself, what would you be open to exploring? What, what, what else is fun in your life? like? And if you don't know what's fun yet, like what would you just be open to trying? And how can you find the enjoyment in that? Because when you're open, when you open your mind and you're not just so narrowly focused on the food, you can expand your ability to find joy in other ways. But so much of us are so laser focused on the food because our brain is wanting food. Like we have those cravings, that survival focus to help us live, obviously. We want that dopamine hit, but we can't let that override our 
ability to have joy or else we're not going to we're we're gonna want to overeat we're gonna gain weight and you're probably gonna feel nauseous just like I did so that is my Hawaii trip in a nutshell I am so happy that I shared this journey with you it's totally possible to lose weight on vacation even if you're petite like me like it's totally possible no matter if you're petite no matter if you're middle age no matter if you're a woman who's never lost weight before, it's totally possible. And if you need any more, if you have any questions on this, if you're not sure what to do when you're traveling, even after watching this video, ask me a question below, I'll help you out. Anyways, have an amazing vacation or trip wherever you guys are going, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.